Pleasure and welcome back to the channel friends. We I think we have a replacement but not really but we'll go with it. But like, before we start anything, if you haven't entered the giveaway, be sure to go and watch my last video where I tell you about all the details on how to enter the giveaway and what you can win and what's up for grabs. It's a Sunset Curve t-shirt by the way. Anywho, into this video, welcome back. We're watching Unsaid Emily. Apparently this one's sad. I have some toilet roll tissue at the ready. I'm not too much of a crier so um, we'll see how this goes. It's only a little bit but I think I'll be fine. Also, the new look. I'm kind of here for this bandana moment but... We'll see how it goes. I don't know how I feel about it. It kind of makes me feel like I'm going to get a headache, but it looks cute, I think. So I'm excited to see this episode. I'm probably going to finish the show tonight. So lucky me. Hopefully not too many tears will be shed. If you haven't seen all of my reactions to Julian the Phantoms, which you should have by now, I'm just saying this is the eighth one. What are you doing? There will be a link down below in the description as always, or I will put a tag up here so you can find them even easier. Easierly whatever if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe it would mean the world to me and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it that's fine no one's gonna force you to like it because we still have our free will for now we got there okay i can't believe we only have like two episodes left that's kind of sad i'm not gonna lie oh flashback to the first episode oh my god is this a flashback episode like not flashback but it's about all their backstories oh it's willy he phased into alex's life in his moment of sorrow is this seat taken oh this seat is not taken don't say it is it's not has he worn that pink hoodie the whole time no he hasn't alex has changed his outfit what he's capable of i brought you guys right to him and when you guys asked me i should have just skated away see that's why i said willy was questionable i thought it was very odd that he would bring them to caleb i would have still followed you oh he would have still followed him i would do anything oh my I thought you were going to say, I would do anything for you, so that's basically the same. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. You should be sorry, but I accept your apology, Willie. They have to play here. They have to play there, okay. Oh, bro, if they cross over in the next episode, I might die. Oh, Nick's going to, like, try and segue in. <laughs> no. You guys are going to blow up. They really are. They deserve it. But then they're going to disappear because they're going to cross over. So my heart is broken. Any chance we could be study partners? <laughs> study partners i see how it is let's say no because luke any chance you could find time to go on a date with me no yeah she's like not feeling it not here for those vibes <laughs> julie a week ago may have wanted this but not now she has luke you like someone else don't you she does very much so kind of guess i uh, and the awkward exit um, don't announce yeah. the awkward exit that makes it even more awkward but that is also a mood and i would probably do the same so can we blame the guy yes but he does exist to me and he might just be air but oh my god judy's like the woman who was on tv who had a ghost boyfriend you open up channels to the other side I do, yeah. and this is a channel that um well you really connected with yeah that was a thing can you believe it well, yes right? Maybe you could write him a song. That would make him feel better. Oh my god, if she oh writes him gosh, a song, what? they're gonna perform the Emily song? Because he wrote a song about Emily? He's got a good composition, buddy. Oh, I love how Reggie just hangs out with her dad. Dad, I have a ghost update. Okay, this might be interesting. It really? might actually on, be interesting. I really played with her hologram band last night. I couldn't sleep. Those songs do get oh. stuck in your head, huh? They really he do. I listen to them too. every day. Yes. Oh my god, is he gonna say that they're Sunset Curve? I think the lip... I think Carlos knows more than we think, but he's gonna get it wrong. Okay, he's gonna get it wrong. It can't play off like this. Chef. Chef. I'm gonna miss them. Me too. I'm gonna miss you guys. Don't leave. <gasps> the Sunset Curve albums in there. The boy didn't pick up on that. Fair enough. Maybe he just thought the chef was like a fan. I mean, I wouldn't blame the chef. He'd be chef with good taste. Literally. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Luke's there. What are you doing? He's like, why are you at my okay. house? Just oh my god, the vibes, the way he's so standing. Here last week. Even after all your speeches about boundaries, you were spying on me. Bro, you tried to look in her box like I'm four sorry, times. I don't even know what I'd say to her, even if she could hear me. Yes, you do. Oh my god, You've already Julie said can it. say it for him? I swear to god, if she does that. Oh my god. Oh my god. The bell is gone. I'm Julie. Oh, Luke's right there. I believe you. I, She's I the album. The song that he wrote. Oh, unsaid Emily. Nice oh. oh, this is 
so wholesome, I, but uh, also very sad. I've got chills of sadness, but also, oh. It's a beautiful sweater. Thanks. It was my mom's. Julie lives. A song about a girl named Emily. I'm Emily. I'm Emily. Then I. <sighs> Is he gonna sing it now? First things first. We start this. Oh, we're doing a little flashback. Oh, look, he's a sad boy. Is this the day he left for tour? I think it is. Oh, because his mum didn't want him going on tour. Oh, yes, Luke, sing. Oh, he has such a nice voice. Oh, the band's coming in now. I'm going to see Alex on drums. I think it might just be a Luke thing. Oh, he came to visit. That's so tragic, though, that, like, he left to go on tour and then died and that's like the last time the parents saw him right this is actually such a sad story <gasps> we're seeing Alex on the drums oh it's Bobby but Alex on the drums <laughs> oh that's quite sad isn't it oh and she's now finishing the song oh he just went for that didn't he oh that was kind of beautiful though I write music in the same room that he did. She does. And I can tell you it is a magical, happy place. <gasps> oh, but what Julie's doing is so, so like, nice, nice. Yeah. But he lived doing the one thing he was born to do. Not many people find that. It's even sadder because they don't know he's right there. I'm glad they all had that moment. <laughs> that was perfect. Don't you dare. Oh, she can't. That's so sad. This is an interesting little relationship you and I have. Don't you say the R word. The video that my dad made is trending on YouTube. If it's trending, aren't... I swear people are going to recognise. Like, someone out there has to recognise these boys from Sunset Curve. Oh, my Lord. That was dramatic. Was in here? Oh, Sunset what Curve merch. How do you think she got... Oh, is that the one Reggie gave her? Inside beautiful. So you mean to tell me that my mom's somewhere out there planning all this? That would be kind of nice. Play music, maybe she has to do it another way. You know, through signs. Oh, we all like wish for it to be like this, isn't it? In life, though, like that you get signs. They have to cross over. I don't want them let crossing them over. No, don't let them go. We need a season two. I need more Julie and the Phantoms. Oh, Alex. Someone once told me that you don't ask for permission. Oh, so they're just gonna you play? Gigs by doing. Oh, I thought they were just gonna show up there and play at the Orpheum. They could also do that, I'm sure. People don't, but ghosts do. Exactly, they can literally just show up. No one's stopping them. Oh my god, are we getting now and ever again? No! That episode, bro, that episode was so short. That is a con. How did, that was a 20 minute episode. No, but it was so good. But 20 minutes, that's barely enough time for me to like yawn. Ugh, we need longer episodes. But also, I mean, the show stays fresh by being short because there's no way they can make like a boring episode. Like nothing can really drag. They don't have time to drag. That was such a good episode. Um, I don't want the boys to go back though. I want the band to stay together. I know I'm not the only one. And I am gonna watch the finale in a second because I have the time. But oh my God, I love how that ended. That was so iconic because Now or Never is my favorite song from the show. And yeah, I am just here for that. That was just such a cool ending with the band playing Now or Never and Julie being like this get this done Orpheum here we go and it started with them playing that and now it's ended with them playing that and I wonder if the last episode they're gonna play that again maybe not probably not because it ended like that just now in this episode but I'm excited to see the finale but it was a bit like emotional to see how obviously Luke left his home in quite a distasteful way I guess in regards to how his parents felt about him going on tour especially his mum and to have that be like the last memories you both have of each other is very like sad and it's just a shame that that was the last time they really properly talked to each other before he died and passed away. So I'm glad Julie gave the parents the letter, the song, sorry, 
as for the parents to get them some closure because Luke can't physically sell it to them himself. But I'm just confused. Like, if the parents have the internet and they see that Judy and the Phantoms is trending on YouTube and they click on it, they'd see their son. And wouldn't they be like, hold up, hold up. I thought he passed away. Like, I, I went to his funeral. It'd be nice if they could see it and they'd be like, oh, our son is still here, spirit-wise, you know? Not gone forever. Anyway, enough rambling from me. And um, that's enough of me talking. I think I'm tired of hearing the sound of my voice and I'm sure you're tired of hearing the sound of my voice, so I'm gonna end it there. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. If you made it this far, there you go, another reminder. Thanks for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. And adios.